Hi, welcome back to another video on Blender video editing on Code Tech Tutorials. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more stuff. It also helps support me a lot, so I appreciate it. And let's get right into it. My name is Matt, and I'll be showing you how to do timing in your Blender videos. You know, speed up, slow down, and anything else you might want to do. I haven't covered this yet. It's a little different. There's a couple ways to get to your video editing. You can click up here and go to video editing and get to a tab that way or you can also go to file new video editing and it kind of gives you a video editing layout setup where it doesn't have as many options so you have your files over here you've got your the preview of what you're looking at this is all the defaults and you've got your scene properties over here you've got your sequencer right here and um, some stuff about whatever you have selected in your sequencer over here so we're not actually going to use this uh, section over here for the files because I'm just going to drag it in from my file folder, which works just as well. So you can do either, whatever you're comfortable with. So I'm going to drag in this AP Misfortune. It's a League of Legends match where I just played AP and recorded. Nothing too special. I'm going to drag this out. And let's just say, okay, this is a really long video. It's like 20 minutes or something. And let's just say I want to grab a section in the middle and speed it up as an example or, you know, just, we don't want to, yeah, I mean, we could speed up the whole video, but also you could just speed up certain clips of it because you don't necessarily want to speed up an entire video too often unless you're doing it in the YouTube controls or something like that, you know. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find a little section where there's some action, hopefully where I get some kills or something. I know late game, I remember I did pretty well, so let's go to the late game and take a look at that. I don't think we ended up winning, but I did uh, okay for AP Misfortune. I also complained a lot about AP Misfortune because I think it's terrible, but I wanted to try it anyway. Here it is. There's a couple kills there, so let's back it up. We'll go to right here where I was dead. And we want to take a chunk of this. So there are a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you both of them that I know. And and then you can choose to apply whatever you think is best for you. So we're just I'm going to show you the hard cut method first. And then I'm also going to show you the soft cut method. And that's just what I'm calling them. I don't know if that's actually what they're called. The the soft cut way, I'll show you later. You can do to both hard cuts and soft cuts and it works. This first one I'm going to show you only works with hard cuts. And if you don't know what hard cuts means, uh, I explained it a couple of videos ago. I don't remember exactly where. But basically it means with a soft cut, you cut your video and then you can still, but you can still drag the length. So if I move these up, I can still drag the length and restore the part I cut. So that's a soft cut. Now a hard cut, let me undo a few times before I cut. Uh, you do a soft cut with just the K hotkey. You do a hard cut with Shift K. And with a hard cut, you move these up. It does not allow you to restore video that you previously cut. As you can see, it's grayed out. So with a hard cut, you have like permanent ends on your little clip. And you can't modify those. With a soft cut, you can't. So let's go up to about right here. And we'll end it here with another hard cut. So we're just going to shift K. And we have our hard cut. Now I'm just going to get this out of the way. I'm only going to be working with this section. So I'm going to change the end to where I am now. And I'm going to change the beginning to where this starts. And I'm going to edit that before I record or before I render. So let's set this frame. And we're going to start it here. That gives us our render section of this part we're working on. So first we're going to mess with the video. I'm going to select the video. I'm going to go to add, effect strip, speed control, and scroll down a little bit to effect strip. And you'll see by default it's stretch input to, to strip length. So that's what we're going to use on this first one um, as the example. And this can only be done on the hard cut. So if you try to do this on the soft cut, it also, when you're stretching the input length, 
it also changes what video the length of the video and stuff and it just doesn't work right in my experience maybe I was missing something but as far as I know this only works properly with hard cuts so with this way you can just drag it to wherever and it'll speed it up accordingly to play the whole clip this doesn't work on the video with only the speed so oops you gotta grab the end here of your video and let's say we just want it uh, I don't know triple time four times we'll do it four times so first I'm gonna change this up from here to a Python console just so I can do some math and I'll take this giant well this number of its length um, let's see 10 5 7 3 and I'm gonna divide it by 4 and I'll get this number which is a little awkward but it rounds down to 2643 so I'm gonna change the length to 2643 and you can do that by selecting your video and you can manually drag it or you can just type it in under where is it time I think yeah the duration here to the new duration of 2643 and there we go so that is approximately a quarter of the length and it should play the whole thing if it's in four times speed because that's how the math works out and you want to do the same with the volume except with the volume you just have to adjust the pitch I don't know if there's another way of doing this pitch makes it sounds like sound like chipmunks if you're speeding it up basically you just want to go four times faster adjust it to the same length and now we got our new endpoint to render this piece right here at uh, wherever we are. So I'm going to copy that. So this here is the current location your cursor is at. And this is start and end points. In case I glazed over that earlier. So now we have a start and end point for our four times render, four times speed render. Let's set up our render properties. Uh, let's bring the quality down to 25% so it renders quickly. And we will change our output to our rendered folder. I don't want to go into my documents and I don't want a bunch of PNGs on an FFmpeg video and under encoding I want to make sure I get the audio to AAC and that should take care of all the stuff we needed to render properly. Let's go ahead and render animation with control F12 or you can go up here and it should fly through it and get our thing and we'll watch it afterwards. Okay, and there we go. It looks like it finished. So we'll close out of this. We'll go into our folder where it rendered, which is rendered here. We'll find it. It was these odd frames, 9426 to 9689. Yeah, that's the one. And let's just play it. <laughs> okay, this perfect. So yeah, that was four times speed up, and as you can see, it was all chipmunk, but the timing seemed to align. Uh, yeah, and of course it was blurry because I put it at twenty-five percent. If I did a final render at a hundred percent, it would look a lot better, but it would take a lot longer. So that was just an example. That's the example of how to do it with the stretch to input length, and that one is just more modular. If you don't care about sound it's a way easier because you can just be like I want it to, I want this section to be this long and that's that and it'll fly through it at that speed so that's kinda nice so let's move on to a different section I'll show you something else let me go down here just different section of the video I don't even know what this is and I'm gonna show you the soft cut way so I'm just gonna do a K right here I'm also gonna change the starting point to this here and let's go I'm not gonna go as long as last time is this just a random section where I'm dead? It is. Oh god, that's terrible. And I'm going to put the second point around here. So let's say you want to do the same thing here, but you want to manually type in the numbers rather than grab the edges. Another soft cut. So we're going to, I'm going to grab this clip, move it up here. So what's, it, what's happening there? Grab, move. I don't want to seem to move that one. Oh, it's because I have the end of it clicked. No, it's highlighted. So grab, move, grab, move on the Y. 
So if you hit G and then press Y, it locks it to the Y axis, axis so you don't accidentally drag it left and right. So that's a cool trick for moving things up and down. So we want to take these. These are now soft cut. So if we, we'll do the same thing. Effect strip. You can do shift A to add that, or you can click over here. Effect strip and speed control. But now, since it's a soft cut, if you try to use the stretch input to to let strip length, it also adjusts what of the strip is showing, and it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't seem to work as you would think. It doesn't like this with the old method would create a slowdown, but now I'm just extending the video and keeping it at the same speed and it's just like, all right, so that didn't work. So what you have to do instead, let me get out of this here, control Z to go back. Okay, so what you have to do instead is you go to your speed control, go to the properties over here, uncheck this, and then use as speed. You basically get a variable. You get a speed factor and a multiply speed. At zero, it's nothing because it's zero times one. So you basically are stuck on the same frame is what should happen. Yeah, as you can see here, it's just the same frame the entire time because it's not moving. It looks like there might be, oh, that's the old video. So you can freeze frame it by doing this to a single frame. So that's kind of a cool trick. But if you don't want to have a freeze frame and you want to actually do a speed control, you want a speed factor. These are basically multiplied together. So if you want four times speed, you do 1 as the speed factor, 4 times the multiply speed. And there, that's sped up. Now, it doesn't adjust the length for you. That's something you have to do. So you basically just punch these numbers um, and reduce it down to, well, that rounds to 178. So we'll make it 178. So we'll go up to the strip length here under time, duration. 178 and we'll do the same thing with this audio we'll just pitch it to four times and we'll we'll make the length the same you can hold control when you're when you've grabbed an end and it'll snap to other points and then we can adjust the little end to where the cursor is now and we should be able to render that at 4x I'm going to move this one up to 50% because it's way shorter. And I think everything else is still set from the previous. It looks like we got our speed ups in there, pitch shifted. This at 1x4 speed. And we'll just uh, render. 1 times 4, yeah, so 4 times speed. And we use the same pitch shift. If there's another way to do the audio, I'd like to know because there's got to be another way other than pitch shifting. I don't know that I don't know if Blender allows it. You could probably do it with Audacity or something better. But uh, yeah, the chipmunk effect or the slow it's the only way you seem to be to adjust the audio. So you might have to do that in another program if you want something else special. Okay, let's see what we got here. The render finished. That was uh, this one here. Double click. Now you see we got that four times speed up. It was a very quick video that time. But in effect, we did just the same. So yeah, that's how you can speed up sections of your video. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to do the speed controls in Blender um, for your videos. So hope this helped. Leave a like if it did. Leave me comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.